Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning! It is a chilly morning today. I even have on my fuzzy slippers. It's so chilly. But we are going to have lots of fun during our video today. In fact, I've got a helper that's going to going to help us get started and help us with some crafts and fun stuff today. So, Miss Helper, will you please come over and get us started with our calendar time. She's gonna hold our flag. So you know what this means, everybody. We gotta stand up. All right. I put, oh, it's all curled. All right, let's see here. Okay, we good? All right. So stand up. <laughs> it is like wanting to curl, isn't it? That's okay, we'll leave it. Hold it like this. Okay, ready? Put your hand on your forehead. Put your hand on your shoulder. Oh, I'm getting closer. Hand on my heart. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ready? You're gonna hold it like, that's a good idea, Allison. All right, ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, can you sing with me? Do you remember the song? You did it in Miss Mellie's class last year, ready? God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with foam, God bless. America, my home, sweet home. Good job. Thank you, Addison. All right, you can go back and have a seat on the carpet. All right. Well, does anybody know what today is? Maybe we need to do our days of the week so you can try to think of what today is. Because I don't know about you, but I'm losing track of all my days. So let's try our song and maybe that'll get all the days in your head and you can help me figure out which one it is. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Hmm. Let's see. It can't be Saturday because we're doing school. Can't be Sunday because we're doing school. So, hmm. I think it's Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. <gasps> Addison says she thinks it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday too. It's w -w Wednesday. Wednesday starts with our letter from last time. W -w -w Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. <gasps> April 15th. April 15th, yesterday was t -t -t Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. All right, so we've got today's Wednesday, April 15th. What letter does April start with? It starts with an A. It starts with an A. Now, in just a minute, I'm going to let Addison give us a gumball. But first, Addison.
Jackson, will you walk over to the weather window? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Or is it snowing today? All right, Addison, come on over. Help us figure out what the weather is. What do you think? Does it look like it's sunny, windy, stormy, partly cloudy, foggy, rainy, or cloudy? What do you think? Oh, you want to clip it on there? It's sunny. It's sunny. It's really pretty and sunny. Yeah. Now, I know you haven't been outside yet this morning, but can you tell in, in, in our sunroom how chilly it is? So what do you think? Is it really hot, hot, warm, cool, cold, or really cold? I think it's cold. It's probably more right around here. It's cool outside. It's cool outside, but it's gonna warm up a little bit. So that's our weather. That's our weather. That's our weather today. It is sunny and cool. You might need a jacket. That's our weather today. Thank you, Addison. Now, Addison, would you please pick two gumballs? Because we did not put a gumball up on Monday. So can you please pick two gumballs? And you can pick two different colors. Ooh, we've got two different colors for our gumballs. All right, so Addison, I'm looking. I think I'll use this. Let's see. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and put our gumballs on our gumball machine. And when we get all the way to the top, we'll have to figure out what numbers we need to put on there. Don't tell us yet. I know you're a big kindergartner and you can figure it out. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna count the point with our light bulb. All right, everybody, you ready? We've got to count. We've got a lot of numbers to count. And look, look how full our gumball machine is getting. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. Help me, Addison. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Count out loud. Four, forty, I can't hear you. Six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Are you counting? You gotta count with me. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five. 66, uh-oh, what comes next? 67. Oh, we gotta put a 67 up there. We need a six and a seven. And then what comes after 67? 68. 68, so I need a six and an eight. Oh, we have 68 gumballs on our gumball machine. That's a lot of gumballs. That's a, it has a lot. So, if you can't tell, we're getting super close. I think it's just going to have to spill out, isn't it? It's probably going to need more gumballs. Yeah, a few more. A few more before we get finished. Well, let's review our focus wall behind me. Our focus wall. What's our color? What's our color? Yellow. It's yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day is just begun. 
Y E L L O W spells yellow. That's right. And there's more to the song, but for our purposes, that's good. All right. Let's review our numbers, okay? Mm, remember, you're supposed to answer so that mom and dad or grandma, whoever's watching with you, can um, know that you know your numbers, okay? I'm just going to pick one. No, Addison, don't give it away. All right, what is this one? Okay, everybody think about it. You got it? It's a six. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six apples. All right, That's look at how old I am. Yes. Let's look at the next one. Mr. Nichols, oh, what do you think? 10. And remember our 10 has a one and a zero. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 crayons. Okay, let's try another one. This one eh, might be pretty easy. I bet you'll get it. Two, good job. All right, let's try one or two more. What number is this? It's a four, it's a four. There's one, two, three, four ice cream cones. There are four. Okay, let's try one last one. This one. Do you know it? I don't want to tell you. Tell mom. Got it? Okay, it's an eight. Yeah, this one is tricky. We have a hard time writing this one. But remember, we 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 make an S and then we can take it back. That's right. That's right. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. All right. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flowers. Good job, good job. Now, what is our letter we've been working on this week? It's letter X, it's letter X. And remember on Friday, I want you to bring something to our Zoom meeting that either starts with an X or has an X at the end, an X sound. So Addison, you gotta help me. What do you think, and these are just some examples that I thought we would share so that you can be thinking about some things. Addison, what is this? A six. It's a six. Do you hear that X at the end? Six has the letter X at the end. It has the word on the back. It does, it does. So we'll stick that right there. Oh, anybody know what ox. animal this is? Ox. It's an ox. Do you hear that X, ox? All right. What is it, Addison? Exit. It's an exit sign. Exit sign. It's in the middle. It is. The X sound is in the middle. She's right. All right. Hmm. Box. Yep, just a box. A box. Got that good okay. X sound. Can you make that X sound with me? You almost have to go. All right. Oh, you want to pull one out? All right, hold it up. X-ray. It is. It's an X-ray. It's an X-ray. We'll stick that one like that. And oh, the last one. What is what is this hippo doing? She's mix. She's mixing up some of that. She's making some cookies. Mix. All right. So we've got all, excuse me, Addison. We've got all of those X things. So maybe you can be thinking about some of your things that you can find at your house. It might be tricky. I know. It might be tricky. But we are going to do one or two more things this morning together. And I brought Addison to kind of help us. Oh, I almost forgot our shapes. Our shapes. Remember, we're trying to make sure we know the difference between a square and a, a rectangle. A rectangle. Oh, do you remember our song that I did for the rectangle? There is a shape that has four sides, but it's not a square, no. It's a rectangle. It's 
a rectangle. It's a rectangle. It is not a square. No. Two sides are short. Two sides are long. But it's not a square. No. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. It is not a square. No. The rectangle has two short sides and then two long sides. Two long sides. All right. Even well, the rectangle is longer than the square. It is. It is. Are you ready to see something super cool? I have to be very careful because we're not, now that they're in the stage that they're in, I'm not supposed to touch them very much. But do you see how they're starting to hang? In fact, in this cup, there's only one that hasn't gone up there yet. And I bet by the end of the day today, he'll be up there. They are getting ready to make their chrysalis. I think it's eating right now. So that means in that cup, we have six caterpillars on the top. And in this cup, we have a few that are still eating. We've got three that are still down there eating. And we've got four on the top. But do you see how one of the caterpillars has already started making that kind of, it's kind of a J shape, isn't it? It's kind of a J shape. That means he's ready to make his chrysalis. So cool, so cool. We have to be very careful with them now that they're hanging up there. And once they get all on the top of the cup, then I'll move them into our net. But today, Addison, did you get your crayons? Did you forget? Can you go get them real quick? Today, I sent mom and dad on our remind this picture this picture and it's um well it's kind of a life cycle isn't it so what you do you're gonna color we're gonna start right here with the eggs on the leaf and then if you follow the arrow make sure you color your arrow it goes to the eggs turn into the caterpillar and this is kind of where we saw them. We didn't get to see them this small as eggs. But then you can color your caterpillar and then follow the arrow. And what's going to happen next is the chrysalis. The chrysalis. And you can color that. And then follow the arrow. And after the chrysalis, what we're waiting for, the butterfly. So you can color your butterfly, make it beautiful. So Addison is going to work on work on coloring this while I share a book with you, and then we can um, do one craft before we go. Okay. So Addison, I'm going to have you work on coloring this while I read a story, and then you can show everybody what yours looks like. So take your time, okay? And you might want to use. Here, you can stand on that. Okay, all right. From caterpillar to butterfly. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves and it is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. See their caterpillar? Keep coloring. And you guys can color while, if you have mom pause the video, if she wants to get the worksheet, you can color while I'm reading too. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the eggs on a leaf. And these are the tiny, tiny eggs. You can barely see them. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. And then it started to eat green plants right away. 
The caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. That's what our caterpillars have been doing over in our jars. They've been eating all of that stuff that's on the bottom. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. Has uh, Have ours gotten bigger each time I've shown you? They sure have. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back and the caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt for molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it came to our school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Mm -hmm. There's some in there that are almost as long as Miss Nicole's little finger. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button out of silk and that's what they're holding on to on the top. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of new skin, this time there's a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. About seven to 10 days. Ooh, Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening inside. But we know inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait. Keep coloring. But we do. We wait and we wait and we wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look! And we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking, and you see a head, then a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have painted lady butterflies, and we got to see it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled up it hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. The wings straighten out and they get dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is warm spring day, so I put my finger into the air. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad, but also a little happy too. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a, pro a proboscis. That's it. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe one day she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. can see all different butterflies. We are going to watch what happens. And you know what? I bet by Friday we're going to have all chrysalises up there. So I can I can see them moving around a little bit now and they're they're busy at work. They're busy at work because they're not quite ready to hang. Oh, and look, Addison's been coloring. Maybe you guys can, can color and you can show us what you're doing. I'm going to let her finish her worksheet. But first, Addison, let's take a break from this. And boys and girls, we're going to do something that we do a lot in our class. And, and maybe, maybe your moms have, have shared some of these or have held on to these. Because these are some of my favorite crafts. We're going to use our hand. And I love making handprint crafts especially when I get them from school because it's got my little my little kiddos and your hand will never be that size again. So I'm gonna write at the bottom and I found a gray crayon, you could use a white crayon, but I'm gonna write at the bottom 
It's just gonna say Addison's X-ray. And here's how we're gonna make it. It looks kind of white. So all I wrote, just down at the bottom, Addison's X-ray. Nothing fancy. But now, I just found some white finger paint. It might be a little bit purple because it looks like somebody mixed the colors at my house. So, we'll see how this actually looks. All right, Addison, I need one of your hands. And I'm not going to put a ton on there. Just a tad. Because I'm, we're going to do something else. So, I literally just dipped it one time because we're going to add something else to our x-ray. All right, Addison, now spread your fingers, okay? Now, and this, let Miss Nicole do it. We're gonna go one, two, three. Smoosh it down. Smoosh it down, that's right. Okay, now we're gonna lift, I just wanna make sure I got it all on there really good. Now pick it up. All right. There is a little bit of a purple tip, but that's okay. It showed up just great. In fact, if you wanted to make a little bit of a light gray paint, that would be good because you can tell what we're making. All right. Now, the next thing, we need a few more Q-tips. Remember the other day we made Q-tip, or we used Q-tips for our, you can do this part, for our letter X. So now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use these, remember, as the bones, but these are, now we're gonna use them as the bones in, um, in your hand so that it'll be just like a real X-ray. My glue's not wanting to work. I oh, know it always it's been sitting in this cold center. All right, let's see if all right. So okay. now there it goes. So now, all right, Addison, I'm gonna have you go ahead and put on that little finger bone. Uh huh. Push it down into the glue. All right. Just do a couple and everybody will kind of get the idea. <laughs> so this is kind of what you're going to do, but you'll do five Q-tips and it'll make your child's handprint x-ray, okay? So do your handprint first and then you can glue on your Q-tips and then we'll have a really cool x-ray. All right. So, that is all that we're going to do today. On Friday, we're going to do some, some review. I've got a review game we're going to do. We might even do it during our Zoom. And then we've got another story and one more craft on Friday. So, we'll see you all on Friday, on Friday, on Friday. See you all on Friday for more Letter X. Fun. All right, see you. Letter X.